I've testified today uh, that our systems are designed to be in a closed uh, area network uh, and that we do not have wireless uh, capability on our systems. Um, and uh, so. And with me also have John Poulos, who is our president and CEO. But uh, it's pretty straightforward. What wireless chipset slash modem does the hardware have? Uh, we support a variety. Um, so uh, it's really up to the jurisdictions, what technology they want to use, what's compatible with their with their networks. Currently, in some jurisdictions, we're using uh, uh, basically a modem that is a 3D modem, GSM, uh, but we can support multiple varieties of modem that can be. Including the including latest 4D standards as well. So the answer is the next question, is it 3G or 4G? Verizon, AT or T or Sprint, I'm assuming all? Oh, uh, yeah, all, all networks. Right. Um, just we have fact, yeah, I mean, uh, we actually transmit from the ICP in Mongolia as well, so um, we're not limited in <laughs> networks. And in Puerto Rico, there is three vendors because the island is not covered by any by any of the vendors completely. So we use three different cellular vendors for some ICPs with this vendor: Claro, AT and T, and T-Mobile. I think in the different parts of the island. So. Everything gets complicated. <laughs> Again, uh, the ICX uh, can have a modem attached to it, and you would transmit directly from the device. You consolidate. <laughs> you consolidate on the unit itself. So if you've got, if you have three ICX units, you'll have to take the pole worker would take the USB out of, of two of them, plug them into any of them, but you're going to designate one as the consolidation unit, and that'll consolidate and then transmit. So you only need one modem for one device, consolidate all of the memory sticks there.